Here I am unshaven, ready to go into part two of President Obama's foreign policy and why it's such a failure. You know, he's going to be speaking tonight, it's Tuesday, he's going to be putting a, a sheen on his administration. He's such a great speaker. He's a guy I love to sit down, have a drink with and talk to. He must be a lot of fun. Man's really smart, but he just never, he could just never follow up. And he was great at, at ideas and horrible at putting him into, a, into play. I met a lot of people like that, but let's Go back to part two of the foreign policy again. So when he's talking tonight about what a great job he did, let's remember a couple of things. I actually jotted down some notes. You know, we never do notes, but I didn't want to forget any of the things here. Okay. Um, this is as of today, Tuesday. We have troops in Mosul in, in, in Mosul and in, in Iraq. We did a, a tape so long ago. It's Iraq, our next Vietnam. More troops in, in Iraq, Mosul, special forces in there. We're supposed to be training, but not leading. Well, we did the same thing in Vietnam. And didn't we get out of Iraq? And now we're back in Iraq. So we sent our special forces into Syria to kill uh, ISIS. Now we have special forces in Syria. Of course, when we drew the red line and said, don't use any more um, uh, chemical weapons, and they kept using them, then, of course, we did nothing. And so, you know, as we talked earlier about all the refugees who came flying across, of course, the president will say he got them to get rid of their chemical weapons. They got rid of some, and then they used more later. Just so out of it. Now we have additional forces in Afghanistan. I'm sorry, I said that. More troops. We have the special forces in Syria. We have our troops in Mosul. We have more forces in Afghanistan, right? We are now sending more. We were supposed to be pulling out. We did the, the surge and then we pulled out. Well, now we're bombing like crazy because we did such a horrible job there. And of course, we're leaving our friends behind there. Um, our Navy in, uh, is being uh, harassed by Iran. Our Navy and Air Force is being harassed by Russia. Our, our Air Force is being harassed by, and, and Navy is being harassed by China in the South China Sea as, as the Chinese are, are going crazy, just weaponizing like, like wild over there. The North Koreans are trying to build an ICBM. They're doing pieces and doing been very successful as they've been going forward. A couple of, uh, 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 so a couple of false starts, you know, when some things blew up. We've had that at also. We've had that happen to us also, but things are moving forward. So the entire world is getting crazy. Of course, you have Cuba. He's going to say he opened up democracy in Cuba. He did nothing. All they did was take more people and put them in jail. And we're putting their money down there. Fidel had nothing good to say. Like I said, you know, the good thing about what we did about Cuba, it wasn't a bad, bad move. The good thing was we got so many good people out of Cuba to become American citizens. And then, of course, the Iranian nuclear deal. Can't trust the Iranians. And right now they're up there doing all their missile testing and they're in Iraq and they're helping Hezbollah and Hamas. And Great job, Mr. President. So when you look at that and you listen to him tonight, remember, his foreign policy is an F. Is Secretary of State John Kerry and all of his advisors. Horrible. Horrible. Good man. Horrible president. F. Peace.